Hey everybody, it's Quicken, and here is another Get Ready With Me video. And tonight I'm going to see Joanna Newsom. It is the first show of the tour that I'm going to be seeing, so I'm really excited. So here I'm taking off my makeup because I started putting it on and it was like too oily for the look I was going for. I decided I wanted to do something matte, so there I am. This is just a little matte primer I got in an Ipsy bag and it's way better for the look I'm going for. So here's some IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye and I am just putting that on my face before anything else just for some color correction. And then I'm patting that in with a beauty blender per usual. So I'm going for a more full coverage look tonight, so I'm just putting this liquid foundation on my face and I'm blow drying it here because I didn't want to have another too oily episode so I had to make sure it was going to dry the way I wanted. So here is some Urban Decay um, under eye concealer. I picked this up last night with Livia and I absolutely love it. It smells pretty good too. So I'm highlighting and contouring my nose here just to slim it down and highlighting underneath where my card contour is going to be. But first, let me snap that. And then I'm just blending that all in again with a beauty blender. I actually really like this stuff. So here is some e.l.f under eye powder, setting powder here, and I actually end up breaking this by trying to pull the, the safety seal out. The whole thing explodes, and then once I put that back in, it doesn't want to work. So I try to give it the honest try, but then I just use my NYX HD powder and get the job done. So this is my NYX Wonder Stick, and I actually really like this stuff, especially if I'm going for a more like photogenic kind of contour where I want it to be picked up on photos. I really like this stuff. And I contour my nose for some reason, which I don't normally do, but oh well. And then this blends out really easily. I really recommend it actually. Um, I was scared to try it for years, but I really like it. So here's my Urban Decay Flush Palette, and I actually have beef with this palette right now because it shows up really muddy on my face, but I just keep using it. But it only it's only muddy on my acne side. Like, I have one perfect side of my face, and then this is my acne side, and it really shows up muddy and really brings out all my imperfections. Why did I choose to wear this for Joanna Newsom? I don't know. It's long wearing. I'll give it that. And then I just use the highlight from the palette, because I am trying to go for a more flat look tonight. So one of my subscribers recommended that I try a lighter um, dip brow by Anastasia, so I went out and that's what I did. Look, it's brand new. So this is light brown, usually I use chocolate, but I like this. It's a little more cool tone, which is great for my hair, and as you see, I'm putting it in my natural brow and it's kind of just like pretty much the same color. So thank you for whoever recommended this to me, I took your advice. And I'm just trying to use very natural strokes, make my brow look really natural. I'm not trying to have on fleek brows tonight, just something tame and sophisticated. And then 
I kind of clean that up with a Q-tip. And here is my Anastasia um, brow gel because I like to spike up the front of my brows. You know. So if you watch my eye look from the other day, Friday to be exact, um, I demo these Luxie shadows and do an eye look. So I just copied that same eye look for tonight. So if you're into that eye look, I will link that video down below. But to save us some time, I left it out. So I bought this lipstick last night and it would not open and actually ruined my manicure. I was really upset. And my other studded lipstick like won't stay closed, so I don't even know what happened. But once I get that bad boy open, there's my manicure. So I like this. It doesn't show up on camera as the like muted red that it actually is. But I don't use a lip liner because I'm trying to look a little more natural, a little more relaxed. So I didn't want to have too hella of a lip tonight. And then I'm just softening that line with a lip brush. And I think it makes the look a lot softer. And I feel like this is how Joanna Newsom would wear her lip anyway. She is so far from the Kylie Jenner lip challenge. And I wanted to let her know that I am too. So I turn off the light so you can kind of see this true red here. And it's like an orange red, a brick red. It's not a very blue based red. So I set all my makeup in place and then it's time for my hair, which I let air dry overnight so it kind of kept some of its natural wave. My hair has a really hard time holding a curl so there's like a hundred rituals I try to do. Oh yeah, and if you follow me on Snapchat, this kind of happens to me every single time I do my makeup. But on to the hair, nosebleed out of my way. So the way that I section my hair is kind of like how you would leaf through a book. Um, I piled it all to one side and then I flip each section over as I'm curling it with my hair straightener. And this is a Cortex flat iron. So I'm just letting each curl kind of fall into place here. Um, I have a very graduated hairstyle so the pieces in the back of my hair are very very short so since the bulk of my hair is all around the front this is how I section if you have a different haircut I recommend <laughs> sectioning a way that works for you and your hairstyle So you can kind of see that I'm just flipping through the sections of my hair like the page of a book. Freak what you feel. I did this the other day and I liked how it turned out so I took a risk and I did it again. So this is how I get these little hairs in the back of my head. Like I said, they are really small and weird and they don't really hold a curl, but I try anyway. So I kind of just flip over all my hair to the front and roll these around the straightener until I feel them fall out of place. As demonstrated here, these pieces are seriously like four to five inches long. And then I kind of just touch up some of the very first ones we did. Now that I have the rhythm in my hand of the straightening process, it's a little easier for me to go back and do it all over again. So tussle out your curls however you like to do it and set them with some hairspray and you are ready to go. 
So this is my outfit for tonight. I'm gonna be in New York and it is December, so I am in layers. This is just a minimalist little bag that I have only the essentials with me. Tissues, because I cry all the time, cell phone. And since they check your bag at the door, I don't want there to be any issue, so I just have this little tiny bag with just nothing in it. And since I have a little trench coat, my lipstick fits right in my pocket and it's not, not a big deal at all. I'm also bringing my RoboCop. I can leave a link down below for $5 off RoboCop. Stay safe when you're in the big city. So these are my winter tights. I grabbed these from H&M. They're awesome. And then I have just comfy boots because I'm gonna be walking on the subway and whatever. And then heat tech socks from Uniqlo. So that circle scarf is from Old Navy and it matches my hair, but like kind of in a cute way. I feel like it doesn't clash too bad. So underneath I just have a nice checkered dress. I feel like checkered can be Christmassy and picnicky and all of this. So I'm not wearing a necklace tonight, so I have a snake brooch. I figured that's kind of cool. Let people know my vibe. And yeah, this is the finished look. Super exciting. I'm so excited for joining Newsom tonight in Brooklyn. Please let me know if you're going to be there tonight. And don't be afraid to say hi to me. I'm going to be on cloud nine, so come get it. There are no cameras allowed in the venue tonight, so this is my final look. And I'll let you guys know how everything went. I love you guys so much. And until next time, bye.